Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue the next part of this topic that's uh, population interaction. So, what's that? There is no natural habitat which has only one species of plant or animal. For any species, the minimum requirement is as a food. Even a plant species which has photosynthesis, photosynthetic ability cannot survive alone. It needs soil microbes to break down the organic matter in soil and release the inorganic nutrient which is useful for the plants. It is obvious that in nature, animals and plants and the microbes do not and cannot live in isolation but interact in the myriad way to form a biological community. This interaction is of the two types of interaction. First one is a intraspecific interaction and the second one is a interspecific interaction. So, this intraspecific interaction means uh, it is occurs between the organism of a same population and the interspecific interaction which is occurs between the organism of a different species. The, this interspecific interaction, it is occurs between the minimum two organisms. It may be the plant, animals, plant and animals. Such interaction may be classified as a four type. First one, it's a neutralism. Second one is negative, that's a harmful. Positive means a beneficial. And both the positive and the negative interaction. Even in the simplest community, many interaction exist. Not all may be easily seen. This interspecific interaction arise from the interaction of the population of the two different species. This interaction may be beneficial. It may be neutral that is known as a detrimental. Neutral means what? It is not harmful, not beneficial to one another. The next one we see, in this chart we see the phenomena that is the interaction with the subdivision. In this image, there is a three symbol is given. First one is a zero, second one is minus and the third one is a plus sign. So, what is a zero? Zero, it says as the non-affected means they are not affected with each other. Negative means what? They are inhibited and the positive means both are beneficial to with each other. So, as there are the four subdivision is here. First one is a neutralism. Second one is a negative interaction. Third one is positive interaction and the fourth one is a positive negative interaction. So, what is a neutralis? No significant effect is there. Means that is they are not affected with each other. The species A and the species B. Negative interaction, it's of the three way. First one is a competition. Second one is a competition resources use type. And the third one is a amensalism. What's a competition? That is the direct interference. That is, both are inhibited. In the competition resource use type, here also both are inhibited. And in the third one, it's a amensalism. In this, one is a inhibited. And other one is non-affected. Third type, it's a positive interaction. Positive interaction, it may be the symbiosis. Means both are beneficial to each other. Commensalism, one is beneficial but other one is non-affected. Pro to corporation, that is both are the beneficial to with each other. As in the fourth type, that is a both positive and the negative interaction. It's again of the two way. First one is a parasitism and the second one is a predation. So what's a parasitism? That is one it's a benefited but other one it's a inhibited. Again in the predation one it is benefited and other one it's a inhibited. So in this population interaction the various types of interaction it is classified as per the nature of this interaction. Two, one or both the species, both the species are benefited in the mutualism. So, it shows the positive way. Both are harmed, harmed in the competitions. The next one we see in the para, parasitism and the predation. Only one species is benefited. That is known as a parasite or it's a predator. And the interaction, it's a detrimental 
to the other species that is says as a host and the prey the interaction where one species is benefited and the other is neither benefited nor harmed means they are the neutral that is called as the commensalism in case of amensalism one one species is harmed where the other is unaffected the first one we see that is a mutualism in the mutualism means both the species are interact with each other and they are they get benefited with each other for example in case of like like cane there is a presence of algal component as well as a fungal component both are benefited with each other this is a very common example in case of mutualism second common example is a mycorrhiza that is a fungus which is grow on the surface of the root this fungus it is grow outside the root surface or it is grow inside the root surface but this fungus helps to absorb the nutrient from the rocks and the plant provides the energy by yielding the carbohydrates which is useful to the fungus means both are beneficial to with each other next example that is a third example the plants depend on the insect for the pollination in returns they gives the nectar or the pollen to eat fourth example that is a animals helps the plant in the seed dispersal in return they gives the fruit to animals as a food the fifth example that is a fig tree in the fig tree and the pollinator species is the wasps the fig species can be pollinated by its partner wasps only the second phenomena we see the competition competition means totally unrelated species may compete for the same resources means the cow and the deer it is compete for obtaining the same food that's a cross for example in the shallow creek on the west coast of mumbai visiting the flamingos and the resident fish it is compete for their common food in the zoo plankton secondly the resources need not always be limiting for the competition to occurs in competition the feeding efficiency of one species it is reduced due to the interference of the inhibitory presence of the other species even if the resources it is abundant that is a food and the species abundant for example in case of leopard do not hunt in the close proximity of the lion prides therefore the competition it is best defined as the process in which the fitness of other species is significantly lower in the presence of the other species means those species it's a fit they are first compete to the other lower species the next one is that is this uh, flamingos and the fish it is compete for the zooplankton means the same resources the next one is competitive released that is a species whose distribution it is restricted to the small geographical area because of the presence of the competitive and this competitive it is a superior species that is called as a competitive released this species it is found to expand its distributional ranges dramatically when the competing species is uh, experimentally removed the cause competitive exclusion principle says that the two closely related species competing for the same resources cannot exist together and competitively inferior will be eliminated by the superior one the next one is a resource resource partitioning it is the mechanism means for the coexistence of a species to the face competition according to this we can note that if the two species compete for the same resources they could avoid the competition by choosing the different time for the feeding so this is the two species and two species it is compete for the same resources but they choose a different time for the feeding and the different foraging partners the next one we see that is the parasitism parasitism is the interspecific interaction where the one species it says as a parasite depends on the other species that is known as a host for the food and the shelter host get harmed and the parasite get benefited the parasite are the host specific 
the parasite and its host tends to co-evolve. Co-evolve means what? It that if the host evolved a special mechanism to reject, resist the parasite. The parasite has to evolve the mechanism to neutralize them. This parasite adaptation, there is a some characteristic that is parasite tends to co-evolve. It may loss of the sense organ. So it is depend on the host. Presence of the sucker or the hooks. It's a loss of digestive system and the high reproductive capacity. Next one, we see the some examples that is the some parasite have the complex life cycle. Generally, have one or the more intermediate host. This host, it is also called as a vector that is which is used to transfer to the host. For example, in case of human being, the liver flux has a two intermediate host. First one is the snail and the second one is the fish. In case of malaria, malarial, Parasite has a one intermediate host and that host is the mosquito. That is this mosquito, it carries the plasmodium vivax. This vivax plasmodium, it is spread to the another, to the other host, that's the human beings. Next example, that is the sum of the parasite. It is feed on the external surface of the host organism. If they feed on the external surface of host organism, that is called as the ectoparasite. The most common example is that is a lice, lice which is on the human and the chick on the dog. So, this lice and the chick, it says as the ectoparasite. Second one is the coped. Copets, that is this uh, copedopods, it is grow on the some of the marine fish. Second example is the cascuta. Cascuta is also a parasite that is grow on the surface of the tree or the shrubs. This has lost its chlorophyll and the leaves during the evolution. It is this cascuta, it obtain, obtain its nutrition from the host plant. By means of the hostoria. The next one, we see the brood parasitism. In the brood parasitism, in which is mostly observed in case of birds, that is in birds, is a fascinating example in which the parasite bird, this one is a parasite bird, this parasite bird lays its egg in the nest of its host bird. So, this is a craw, it's a host bird and lets the host bird incubate the egg during the course of evolution the egg of parasitic bird have evolved to resemble the host egg in size as well as color to reduce the chance of the host bird detecting the foraging egg and injecting them from the nest the egg of the parasite bird that is a asian coil hatch before that of its host that is a indian crow the next one we see it's a predation. So, what's a predation? When we think of the predator and the prey, most probably it is the tiger and the deer that readily come to our mind. But a sparrow eating any seed is no less a predator. Although the grazers are the animals eating the plants, classify them as the herbivores. They are they are not very different from the predators. Predators play the important role. Many important role. That is they keep the prey population under the control. Without them, the prey species would reach a very high population density and cause the ecosystem instability. For example, in absence of the frog, locters increase in density and destroy the large tract of the agricultural land. Biological control methods adopts in the agriculture pest control are based on the abilities of the predator to regulate the prey population. Next one we see that is a predator. It is also help in maintaining the species diversity in the community by reducing the intensity of the competition among the competing prey species. When a certain exotic species are introduced accidentally or the intentionally, 
into the new geographical area they become invasive and start to spreading rapidly due to the absence of the natural predators for example zebra mussels in the intertidal zone of the north america if the predators over exploit its prey then the prey might become extinct and following it the predator will also become extinct for the lack of food this is the reason why the predators in the nature are the predators the prey species have evolved the various defense to reduce the impact of the predation it's a kind of the evolutionary arm race for example sometimes the predators used a biological control for the pest for example the ladybird so this one is a ladybird are useful to control the aphid and the dragon flies which is used for controlling the mosquitoes next one is the prey species have evolved the various defense mechanism to reduce the impact of the predation for example certain insect species and the frog have the camouflage that is a cryptotic coloration means the rock and the frog color cannot be easily identified next example we see it's a monarch butterfly it's a very dis disasterful to its prey bird it has the special chemical on it's a body this chemical which is produced during the caterpillar stage by feeding on the poisonous weeds the next one it is a herbivorous herbivorous are the predators for the plants the problem of the predation is a more severe for the plant than the animals as they cannot move about 25% of the known insect is the phytophage and feed on the plant sap next one is certain chemical producing plant act as a defense for example calotropis the calotropis produce a highly poisonous glycoside that is cardiac poison nicotine caffeine conine uh, strychnine and the op are the chemical which is produced by the plant against the herbivores the next one is some of the plant is develops a morphological and the chemical defense mechanism against the herbivores for example the thorns of the bougainvillea and the spines in case of the acacia the next one we see it's a commensalism commensalism is the interspecific interaction in which one species its benefit and the other is neither harm nor benefited means the other species is a neutral for example the epiphytes orchid which is grow on the surface of the tree branches means a orchid it prepare its own food material but only for the support it's grow on the other plant the next one is a branches growing on the back of the wells associates between the orchids and the grazing cattle so this one is a small fish that is a orchid always forage close to the cattle are the grazing because they are easily get the insect this a branches which is growing on the back of the wells and the associate orchids and the grazing cattle orchids always forage close to the cattle are grazing because they are easily get the insect means in case of cattle there is a growing the uh, growing the some of the orchids that is the this orchids is easily takes uh, gets the insects the next one is a clone fish the clone fish re so this one is a clone fish the clone fish living along with the sea anemia the clone fish gets the protection from the predators that is this clone fish the clone fish so uh, this as the clone fish living along the sea anemia this clone fish gets the protection from the predators so the sucker fish the sucker fish always present on the back of the shark hope so you understood it thank thanks for watching my videos so stay tuned to my channel thank you